Sounds cool, doesn't it? There are only three moves that you have to learn to be able to play that riff. Basically, you have to learn how to thumb slap with your right hand, how to tap the neck with your left hand, which sounds awesome if you're married with that wedding ring, and how to strum muted ghost notes with your index going down or up, which I count as one note. You can learn these moves which will elevate your strumming to that next level, but it's how you combine them in patterns that make you sound super cool. In He's a Pirate Arrangement, I use three patterns and 6-8 time signature, and I believe I use chords G minor, C minor, Minor, F minor and F major with one added note in there but we'll get to that later in this tutorial but for now let's just focus on learning those moves and apply them to that pattern my name is Mustafa and this is MK Fingerstyle Academy let's get started the first move is a thumb slap with your right hand on the strings what you want to make sure you do is that you slap them enough to make the strings hit the metal frets and get that percussive sound if you hit them lightly, you'll get that tempura effect, which sounds cool, but we're not after that. What we want is that you hit it just enough to get that metal percussive sound. The second move is you using your left hand to slap or tap the neck. Again, what you want to do is you want to tap it just enough to be able to get a percussive immuted sound rather than just open strings. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you get that percussive sound. And the last move is when you mute the strings with your left hand to get that muted ghost note sound and then you're gonna downstroke or upstroke with your index. All right, so now pause the video and pick up your ukulele and learn those moves. And when you feel like you have the hang of it, come back and we'll learn some patterns. There are three patterns that you need to learn. The first one starts with a downstroke and a chord. And he's a pirate, that chord is a G minor chord. And then you would thumb slap, which is move number one. And then you tap with your left hand, which is move number two. So that becomes one, two, three. And now that you have your left hand muting the strings, you can do the four, five, six part of the six, eight by going up, down, up. So that becomes downstroke on the chord, slap, tap, up, down, up. For pattern number two, you're going to play a chord, and he's a pirate, that's the C minor chord, as a downstroke, and then I'm going to thumb slap, left hand tap, and then upstroke. So that becomes downstroke, slap, tap, up. Now watch out for the rhythm, you have 8th notes mixed with 16th notes. So the chord is 8th note, and then 16th notes, slap, tap, and then 8th note up. Putting pattern 1 and 2 together. And then for pattern number 3, which I think is the hardest pattern, you're going to downstroke a chord, and then you're going to upstroke the chord, thump, slap, and then upstroke in rapid succession. So that's up, slap, up. The reason this is hard is because you have to coordinate the rotation of your wrist to get that upstroke, slap, upstroke. Up, slap, up. Up, slap, up. So that becomes... So the patterns are then pattern number one, pattern number two, and then pattern number three, and then everything after that is either pattern one, two, or three. Now that you've learned the moves and the patterns, it's time to add them to a chord progression. You can add them to any progression that you like, but for the sake of he's a pirate, let's take a look at the tap and follow along. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the patterns and the moves we've just learned to a chord progression, namely He's a Pirate's main awesome riff that you've heard at the beginning of this tutorial. You can follow me in the tap below. So we start with pattern one on G minor chord, thumb slap, tap, up, down, up, G minor chord with my first, third, and second, back to the G minor chord, then I'm going to downstroke, 
slide down to an F minor chord, same fingers, and then I'm going to play pattern number two, which is slap, tap, up. So that becomes... So don't panic when you see that slide is the same as pattern number two. Then I do exactly the same thing, but the chords are different. So that's pattern one on F major chord with a high C with my fourth finger. G minor chord with my fourth finger. And then I'm gonna play the pattern number three, but I'm gonna play an F major chord with my third finger and first finger. Second finger needs to be free. Then I'm gonna use my second finger to press the first fret. So that becomes, you press the first fret, slap, let go, for pattern number three. That's kind of hard because not only do you have to move quickly with your right hand, you have to move quickly with your left hand as well. And then you play the G minor chord, and I like to play it as a block chord, so I can set my right hand fingers to play the alternating uh, right hand fingerings for that scale passage. And then I slide to play the actual riff. Alright, so there's a lot of information in this tutorial. To really help you out, all you have to do is follow the three layers. Basically, you learn the moves, you learn the patterns, and then you apply them in the chord progression. Now that you know what is happening, I want you to head over to He's a Pirate Arrangement and listen to the whole thing and see if you can spot the patterns and the moves and the chord progressions when the riff happens. Be careful though because it happens really quickly, but at least you get to hear it twice. You can check it out by clicking on the video card in this end screen. My name is Mustafa and I'll see you in the next video.